we have sufficient knowledge of re model and in this lecture we will solve a numerical problem based on re model in this problem we need to determine the input and output impedances this means we need to find out zi and zo after this we need to determine the voltage gain a v and the final part is calculation of current gain a i you can see bjt amplifier circuit on your screen and a few parameters are already given in the problem like resistance rb is equal to 270 kilo ohms i will write this values first resistance rb is equal to 270 kilo ohms resistance rc is equal to 2.2 kilo ohms resistance rc is equal to 2.2 kilo ohms beta is equal to 60 the amplification factor is equal to 60 resistance ro is equal to 40 kilo ohms resistance ro is equal to 40 kilo ohms and to find out all these parameters we need the dynamic emitter resistance we need resistance re and we already know resistance re is equal to 26 millivolts divided by the DC value of the ammeter current and to find this current we need DC equivalent circuit and by removing the two capacitors we have the DC equivalent circuit I will find out value of base current the current flowing through resistor 270 kilo ohm the base current I will apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in the input loop plus minus V BE the input voltage and it is equal to 0.7 volts in case of silicon transistor on applying KVL on applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in the input loop we have 12 volts we have 12 volts minus drop across this resistance which is equal to IB RB minus VBE VBE equal to 0 volts and when we simplify this we have base current IB equal to 12 volts minus 0 0.7 volts divided by resistance RB and RB is equal to 270 kilo ohms so divided by 270 kilo ohms so current IB is equal to 0 0.04185 milliamps and if you want to represent it in microamps then the base current IB is equal to 41.85 micro amps and to calculate the ammeter current to calculate the ammeter current we will sum the collector current and the base current collector current is equal to beta times IB so ammeter current is equal to beta IB plus IB or we can write beta plus 1 IB we know beta it is equal to 60 we know IB it is equal to 41.85 microamps so we can easily calculate the ammeter current the ammeter current is equal to 61 beta plus 1 is 61 multiplied with 41.85 microamps after the multiplication we have the ammeter current equal to 255 2.85 microamps or we can write 2.553 milliamps we have the ammeter current and now we will calculate resistance RE 26 millivolts divided by 2.553 milliamps after the division we have 10.18 ohms as the value of dynamic ammeter resistance now we can easily calculate the input and output impedances which is the first part of the problem and to calculate the input and output impedances we are required to do two things first thing is to obtain the AC equivalent circuit and the second thing is to replace the transistor with its equivalent RE model we already know how to obtain the AC equivalent circuit and we also know how to replace the transistor with its RE equivalent model so I will directly 
draw the circuit after which we will find out the input impedance the input impedance is the impedance seen from terminals 1 and 1 prime and it is equal to rb connected in parallel with beta plus 1 re so input impedance is equal to rb connected in parallel with beta plus 1 re or we can write rb multiplied with beta plus 1 re divided by rb plus beta plus 1 re we will find out beta plus 1 re beta is 60 so beta plus 1 is 61 multiplied with resistance re which is equal to 10.18 ohms when you perform the multiplication you will have 6 to 1 ohms as the value of beta plus 1 re or we can write 0 0.6 to 1 kilo ohms so input impedance is equal to 270 kilo ohms value of resistance rb multiplied with 0 0.6 to 1 kilo ohms divided by 270 kilo ohms plus 0 0.6 to 1 kilo ohms and when you solve this you will have the input impedance equal to 0 0.6195 kilo ohms or we can write 619.5 ohms while deriving the input impedance we discussed one condition if resistance rb is greater than or equal to 10 times beta plus 1 resistance re then we can neglect resistance rb and the input impedance is equal to beta plus 1 re and in this case beta plus 1 re is equal to 0 0.621 and resistance rb is equal to 270 kilo ohms which is obviously greater than 10 times beta plus 1 re so we can neglect resistance rb and the input impedance is equal to 0 0.621 kilo ohms or we can write 6 to 1 ohms and if we compare the two results we'll find they are nearly same now we will calculate the output impedance the output impedance is the impedance seen from terminals 2 and 2 prime and it is equal to resistance ro connected in parallel with resistance rc so the output impedance is resistance ro connected in parallel with resistance rc we already know value of resistance ro it is equal to 40 kilo ohms and rc is equal to 2.2 kilo ohms so 40 kilo ohms connected in parallel with 2.2 kilo ohms and when you solve this you will have the output impedance equal to 2.085 kilo ohms and you can see 10 times 10 times resistance rc is equal to 2.2 kilo ohms which is less than resistance ro because ro is equal to 40 kilo ohms so we can easily neglect the resistance ro and the output impedance is equal to resistance rc which is equal to 2.2 kilo ohms and if you compare the two results you will find they are nearly same 2.085 kilo ohms is not much different than 2.2 kilo ohms in the next part we will find out the voltage gain the voltage gain is equal to ratio of output voltage to the input voltage and it is equal to minus beta IBRC divided by IB beta plus 1 RE and uh, if we consider beta plus 1 nearly equal to beta then we can cancel out beta and beta plus 1 and the voltage gain is equal to minus RC divided by resistance RE because IB and IB will cancel out and when you divide the resistance RC by resistance RE the dynamic emitter resistance you will have minus 216.1 so this is the voltage gain and this negative sign is there because we have 180 degree phase shift between the output and input voltages this is something we have already covered in the last lecture 
now we will move to the last part of this lecture in which we have to calculate the current gain the current gain is equal to ratio of output current to the input current and calculation of current gain is the homework problem you need to calculate the current gain and once you have your answer post it in comment section this is all for this lecture see you in the next one